Backwards chaining is an intervention approach that can be used to teach dressing skills to both children and adults. The dressing task is broken into small steps and the process is taught by having the person learn to complete the final step first. The person then gradually works backwards through the steps, increasing the number of steps completed until they can complete the entire dressing task from start to finish. This video demonstrates an example of backwards chaining as a dressing intervention for relearning to don socks and shoes. We're going to be doing backwards chaining for putting on socks and a pair of sand shoes and today is our first backwards chaining session so I'm going to do the majority of the steps and Sasha here is going to complete the last step. So looking at step number one is put the sock on the stocking donner. Do that. And step number two is replace the stocking donner on the floor in front of the foot we're going to be dressing first which is the left foot. And then the next step is step into the socking donna with the left foot. So today I'll help Sasha with that. Awesome. And the next step is to take the socking donna away. And after that, we'll be placing the shoe in front of the foot with the sock on it and placing the foot into that shoe. And then the last step here Sasha's going to be doing, which is pushing your heel into your shoe. Welcome to session two of our backwards chaining. So last session, Sasha successfully completed the last step of all of our steps for putting your socks and shoes on. So today Sasha's going to get to do the last two steps independently. So I'll give her a hand with all the steps before that. So the first step again is putting your sock onto the stocking donner. And then the next step is putting that stocking donner on the floor in front of her left foot. And then we're going to give Sasha a hand. The next step is putting your foot into the stocking donner. And then after that, we remove the stocking donner. And then we put the shoe in front of the foot with the sock on it. And this time, the last two steps, Sasha is going to put her foot into her left shoe and then push her heel down. So putting our foot in and pushing the heel down. Welcome to session three of backwards chaining. Last session, Sasha successfully completed the last two steps of our shoe and sock donning. So I'll give her a hand with the early steps and then Sasha's going to complete the last three steps by herself. So the first step, we're going to put the sock onto the stocking donner. And then the next step, we're going to put the stocking donner in front of the foot. We want to be dressing the left foot here. And then we're going to help Sasha. And we're going to put the stocking donner and put her foot through that. And after that, I'm still going to take this one away, but then we're going to get Sasha to place the shoe in front of her left foot. And then Sasha's going to put her left foot into the shoe and push her heel down. Welcome to session four of our backwards chaining. This session, Sasha's going to be completing the last four steps of putting our socks and shoes on and I'll be doing the steps before that. So step number one, we're going to put our sock onto the stocking donner. And step two, we're going to put the stocking donner on the floor in front of Sasha's leg and we're still going to give her a hand in putting her foot through. Good job. And this time Sasha's going to take the stocking donner away. That's the new step. And then Sasha's going to place the shoe in front of her left foot and place her left foot into the shoe and push her heel down. Welcome back to session five of backwards chaining. This time Sasha's going to be completing the last five steps of putting our shoes and socks on. So I'll just be doing the first few. So step number one, we put our sock on the stocking donner. 
place the stocking donut on the floor in front of her left foot. And today Sasha's going to put her left foot through the stocking donut. Sasha's going to remove the stocking donut herself. And then place the shoe, left shoe in front of her left foot and her foot into the shoe. And finally push her heel down. Welcome to session six of backwards chaining. Sasha now is completing six steps independently because she's been successful all the way through. And I'm just completing the first step for her. So the first step, we put the sock on the stocking donna. Now Sasha's gonna place the stocking donna on the floor in the right position and she's going to put her leg through and the next step she's going to remove the stocking donna and she's going to place her shoe and she's going to put her left foot into her left shoe and finally push the heel down Welcome to our final session of backwards chaining. Sasha's been so successful with all the other steps. She now gets to attempt to complete all the steps independently herself. So the first step we've got is put the sock onto the stocking donna. stocking donna and then place the shoe and then we're going to put our left foot into the shoe and finally press the heel down and that's it Sasha has successfully learned how to put her shoes and socks on through backwards training <laughs>